Sarge versus G Extreme. Let's go. Yeah, and I mean, at this point, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm going to be real. Yeah, we're going to have to find out. Starting on PS2. Are yeah. switching to the shield art? Putting on the pressure, I mean, that's how it works. Peach, Pichu, uh, Pikachu has all these multi hits. Yep, and there it is. The again, clanking with the back air, doing some little damage right there. And it gets the extension. That's going to be a really annoying thing. And you're seeing as G Extreme not actually opting out for it, doing it more sparingly. Yeah, you know, he wants to time it right because he can just extend all of, like, choke aerials and stuff like that so easily. For sure. And G Extreme trying to extend a little bit. But Solarx has some discipline here, and oh my gosh. That is like the worst, best counter, that's what I've heard. <laughs> it pretty much is. I mean, at least gets a counter, nothing out of it, but puts a little pressure in g Extreme's face. But now we're seeing classic g Extreme gameplay. Very defensive, pretty campy. Ooh, second air slash hitting right there. And the percent's not far off, missing the grab. Yeah, that that was a clean mix-up on Solarx's end. Looking for the upper mix, and it gives him just enough landing lag to look for a punish. Ooh, that air slash hitting. You know, you're saying how he was gonna catch up to the quick, you know, the quick attack, and he was able to catch up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, at this point though, these percentages are, are low-key even. It is, it is. Ooh, try to catch him with an air slash, gonna get the wall jump with the quick attack. Yeah, that's, you had to know how to mix up your recoveries as a Pikachu player. You do, you do, but there's a uh, backslash snap lag. Ooh, I love the air dodge, but ooh, off into the shield arc. The double yep. art switch, you know, the jump and the shield. This is incredible. I mean, you got that second lease of life, and it's a dead even game. It is. He could do very small. Yes, he is. Next hit's going to finish, and you know it's already got, he already has the. Yep, and he's stalling out the. Yep, he's stalling it out, so he doesn't get hit by the smash arc. <laughs> that's, that's cheating. That is cheating. That, when that's it's, cheating. It's optimal. <laughs> Ooh. And, oh, that, that, that was back almost deadly. Up. That back air almost extended again, thanks to the T-Doll. Yeah, I mean, look it through right in there. You got you got Jigshu taking this first stock. Ooh, but this all it's firing back immediately. Shield Arp, the up B. Getting yeah. a little too close, getting caught by it. This is, you know, a different animal from what we saw Thursday. I mean, Jigshu went from going 0-2 again to again the top eight of this bracket. Even and this more is stacked. not an ordinary bracket. It's the monthly, too. Yeah. People pulled up. I'm real. Yeah, you it, look it, at the bracket, nothing but menaces. The upsets are crazy. Like back to back, like top C's are already out of the bracket. It's insane. Yeah, guy, a guy, guy, you know, <laughs> where he at? Oh, he's still in. Well, he's still in. He's still in. He's still in C's, like C's out though. Yeah. C's out. C's out. Like, Amaryllis. Yep. Mega. Like, like these are people who you wouldn't even think would be out so early. These are people who win brackets. <laughs> All right. That's the kind of that's the kind of beast that uh, be pulling up to Encore. Yep. And another air slide. You're right, this is where the upsets happen. It's insane. Yeah, you really gotta come with your best. And we're seeing that is that speed art. Yep. That's getting a little bit too much. And the smash. Ooh, tried to go for the double air shot. Back back here. Not gonna kill though. Yeah, even with that smash out, there, ooh, it wasn't too much. Yeah, I don't but think that back air is pretty strong. Yeah, but it, it's covering some distance. At this point, Jigstream running in with the T-Jolt, trying to see the reaction. Yep, and there's the T-Jolt waiting for that arrow to come out and going straight for that dash attack. Yeah, Jigstream trying to make something out of a situation. It not looking too, too hot. Oh, but managed yep. to get the dash attack. He was caught slipping. He was. He was caught lacking. Getting caught by that dash attack. That's going to kill with the smash. Ooh, oh. they tried to catch him lacking with that back slap. Yeah, not going to pull up enough. And that back air is putting G at a terrible position. He's forced yes. to recover right then and there. But... He's not, he's still in it. Yes, he is. We're getting caught oh. by a nair. Ooh. First S smash we've seen, I've seen Solar Pull the entire time I've been watching it. Yeah. Oh, almost had that. Again, almost had that backslide sneaking in there. Yeah, and even with the, the shield stutter right there by G Extreme, causing the little temple, forcing Solar's, you know, well, not forcing, but Ooh. scouting out Solar's aggression. And yep. he's really getting a lot of percent, 46. Oh, but there's a dash attack. You know, I was going to say that down tilt got the little trip, little damage right there. There's the dash tech from Solar with the smash art. It's going to kill. Yeah, this is looking like a relatively even game, especially when you get the Buster going. Oh, so it's always, it's always e yep, it's always even when he has Buster on, man. That damage just piles up so quickly. And again, just narrowing these T-Jolts. Yeah, the hurt box extension just means that Jigshin can't really approach with them. You're absolutely right. Ooh, a little nair info back. And then the fair, you know, quick attacking above the ledge. And like I said, even game already. Yeah, this is, you know, two minutes on the clock, by the way, of course. Jigstream, extremely defensive player. Yes, he is. Definitely something you're going to want to worry about when you're playing is the clock. Yep, but there's a dash attack again. 
These extensions are pretty crazy though. With the, you don't like it's bang and it's so favor. The speed, man. The speed is so deadly with that. And that bear almost catching because of it too. But now Jigstream having to hesitate, having to shoot some quick attacks to do some mix ups with the yep, tempo. We'll try to use a dash tag into a dash attack. That's crazy. And now no shield on the on the dial at this point. Ooh, cross stage end. without it. But he has jump. He uses the cancel. I like the down to just push him off. 146, you got no shield for the next 5, 10 seconds. Ooh, choose to go through the platform with that upbeat. Oh, but there's the dash attack. And yep, that's going to take that yeah. first game. I really like the cross up there. You know, from that position, as a Pikachu player, you really sometimes just can't kill. Yeah. And it's one of those things, you're, you know, dash attack's going to happen. People expect the dash attack, but it doesn't matter if they expect it. You have to be able to throw them off. His immediate dash under, no one this guy, yeah, he's going to jump. Of course he is. He's going to possibly Nair. Nair starts this way, comes back around towards me. But guess what? I'm not going to be there. Exactly. Just pull up to the other side, you know. And it's best the to block. get the kill before you get killed. And he did. You know, he got the dash check in and he was able to take that game. Now let's see what the counter pick is. F FD might be the way. FD might be, I mean, maybe the platforms, you know, you don't Shorter want a quick stage, attack yep. going on there, Shorter right? Shorter stage, too. Plus the extensions. Oh, the small battlefield. Oh, oh just, whoa, running just running back. back. All right. I'm not saying that's my decision. But I, I actually don't know what they would have done and what I would have done there. So Hi, Chi. I hear you watching the stream. But here we go. Yeah. Running it back to PS2. You know, Solis was probably thinking what he could do. You know, probably wants to get an adaptation on this stage. Yeah, and immediately as they're going into this, G Extreme. I was thinking to go right back into the corner just to switch it up. A little bait and switch there, able to get him a little bit of percent. But every percent counts when you are playing as Pikachu, especially versus Shulk, because he's not going to let you get in often. Finally I seeing agree. a parry. Oh, but he has Bacho on, you know, taking some big damage. Already at 53. Ooh, almost caught that air dodge. Yeah. But getting schooled by the uphill. And a oh lot of aggression God. on G-Extreme's end. Yep, and he almost died for it. Just imagine if he was in Smash, he was dead. For real. But that up he had a shoot also just going to net so as to lead. A lot of this over aggression kind of yep. getting punished, but backer managed to land. Yeah, he did, he did. Jackson getting the back here after hitting that Tijo too, knowing he had the shield. Oh, oh but there's a trying to dash tag shield, getting the air slash, not going to kill though. Yeah, missing the punish, still gets two. Oh, but unshielding. Yep, the third. On you the know, down the, smash. Yep, the three hits on the down smash. One of them found in the land too. Shield at that position and get, a, get immediately put off into speed. Ooh, try to catch him with an air flash. Yo, speed is just crazy. He was able to stop him before you even smash that. Yeah, in most situations, right? You're like, oh, okay, yeah. uh, oh, <gasps> the DI yep, yep. Plus, he's also a light and short character. You can get out of that for free. But finally catches that late little hit and he's forced to wait and go use a quick attack. Sword so tried to scout it out but couldn't. But he's still in a position of power. Yep, g still alive. Both players still on his first stock. Trying to find the kill. And that's a shield poke, I'm pretty sure. It and is. back slash, not gonna hit, but gets in the ledge. Guys, listen. Okay, get back to stage. Perfectly safe, but there's a dash like again while he's in smash. Or he's just Double dead. roll into it too. My gosh, I, I, you know, I, that's just the way you got kind of got to play it. I agree. I saw it still in smash. I'm surprised he didn't switch off the art, you know? And he was trying to look for it. He's definitely looking greedy in it, but, and he gets it without it. Back around the speed. Yep. That moves fast now. Still an even game. Yeah, and at this point, we're really seeing what, you know, you kind of expect when it's this kind of matchup, right? G Extreme, I'm in the corner. I'm hanging out. Uh, you know, Solar really trying to look for his answer to get in, but knows he's going to go a lot of chip over time anyways. G Extreme, however, has the frame data with the Pikachu. And Solar is managing to kind of get these positions moving forward. And he's on Buster. Buster the saving grace, putting in that damage, but the only downside really is to blind damage to yourself. Yeah, that double ledge. Yep, and like, speed's here, so we're gonna see likely, you know, a quick recovery with the aggressive option. Yep, top That's him from smash tag again. Talk about a double edge, you know, he was able to dash tag too while he was in Buster. <laughs> and the bravery coming from Solar's however, not gonna work out, and that's wow. almost what a, what, a save, what a saving grace though, like smash art just ended there too. Just before that dash tag landed. Yeah, that was incredible. Didn't even notice it myself, but I'm, you know, can't take too much of those. So there is, there's the up throw, not going to take it yet. That. There it is, perfectly timing that dash attack too. You know, Solid swung and immediately got hit and killed for it. 
he is really capitalizing on the impatience. You're absolutely right. You know, last game was really close, but looks like GX Stream just a fine idea. He's getting rid of that shield art immediately. Yeah, Pikachu grab can be, you know, a little bit annoying sometimes, especially in this matchup. Only for one situation. Oh, oh, it's missing the leg. You hate to see it. You do hate to see it with the oh. backslash. That's unfortunate, but Jake Street's gonna take that up. Now he's up to two. Oh, yeah, that she's is, one more game. That is something. I can't. You know, before I saw like Sean scrolling through each stage, trying to figure out what his counter pick is. You know, I see you know the idea of going back, trying to adapt, but that game, you know, didn't pay out in his favor. Yeah, he just kind of like, all right, I'm kind of, I'm doing this. I'm definitely this he has to yet again. I was really kind of looking to see a change of scenery. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I do agree. something for me. <laughs> 21. You know, apparently, he sees something we don't, and it's possible. You know, he can bring something to life in this game. But right now, Geek Stream up 2-0. Yeah, and and those games were more or less comfortable. At least the second one. I think the first one was more comfortable because it was really close. But really comfortable for Geek Stream though with the two stop. Yeah, I I think that at this point, you know. A change of scenery helps out so much. It at least lets you reset, at least forces the opponent on like a different type of position. But, you know, you could be confident in yourself too. Ooh, barely missing. That could have been deadly, but that's also dead. I think Sean's found his footing in this match already, getting the getting the back air kill. Yeah, it's going to be match. really tough now. G Stream at, oh. oh. Oh, barely avoiding that lightning. Try to backslash him. Oh, I thought that was a down smash too. I thought he was going to keep it going, but either way he doesn't. Solar's. But, you know, has this lead, and he's really finding his yes, step. He is already on speed again, but there's a speed ending. Ooh, option to switch right through the shield. Perfectly timing to, to avoid that uptime. And at this point, he's going to look for something big. Yes, it Up is. beyond the is. reverse. Ooh. Almost gets the dare. Maybe he didn't oh go back to ledge with it, but it doesn't matter either way. Oh, but there's a dash attack. But 65% on the board just from that, you know, holding on to that stock, too. It's, that's big on Pikachu, man. Light character. It could be pretty annoying to kind of get these hits, especially when you know you play an offensive player. But with a deficit, you should be more inclined to approach. Right, playing a little more aggressive. Yep, touch my shield. There's the up out of shield. Oh, and he's even looking to punish it uh, oh, twice yeah. there, even yep. after the get smash, just looking for the counter. Oh, in the smash art, this could be deadly. Can saw it clutch the sock out. At the very least, he gets himself out of the situation if he gets hit, right? Like, True. sure, you're gonna hit me, not gonna be a big deal. But now he's on the aggression, can guaranteeing himself center stage. Yep, and even he... G Stream off stage once again. Ooh, almost quick. Did you talk about it? No, it was quick. He's gotta be very precise. He's gonna get hit. Yeah, and he perfectly called that out and has G Stream in the corner again, but this time with Smash Art. Ooh, the Pentagon! Oh, not gonna that's kill. Good the yeah, eye from G Stream. At the ledge, though, th that's going to. Yeah. And dash tech actually pulling up. We're gonna see if G Extreme can manage to get something. Ooh, Gets up yep. there after that. That was a beautiful conversion. Right, so, ooh, Zara's so again perfectly timing that up just to snap ledge. And, and now G Extreme looking for slightly different options off the snare. And there's the back here again. Ooh, right in front of his face too. That was mad close. Only like 92 at this point. Like, you know, that's not great for Pikachu. At the other yeah. end of the spectrum, you still gotta deal with shield art. Yeah, but right now he's in Buster and he's taking that game as 122. If he gets the stock, you know, he can still keep it to an even game. Yeah, but Solar's starting to get his pressure going. Ooh, getting the weak hit on the dash tag. That would have been deadly if he hit that dash tag. So we are just waiting on, you know, if G Extreme can get the stock. You're absolutely right. Right now it's so hard for him to edge guard. So is just saving the jump art just for when he gets up there, you know? And trying to get the pressure there, but the discipline really pulling through, being like, listen, I don't really need to worry about any of this. I'll throw coming through on G Extreme then, but guess what? It's shield art time. It is shield art time. Now it's out, but he's at 160 and there's a dash tag. And only 48%. Yeah, I started to drop the discipline there. I mean, you have that lead. Uh, you know, you Fine. can't keep it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep it. <laughs> what speed going? There's no discipline there. <laughs> Pretty much. Ooh, a point, a point out and it's not even at reach percent. You know, he got an early percent. G Stream already catching up. 54. Yeah, he's been going for a big oh! read, but guess what? My God! But it don't matter. Yeah, you ain't the only one. And you know what happened there too? The uh, the blast zone. Yeah, when you jump. get a uh, what's it called? Like the the close screen up, whatever. Yeah, kill screen. The kill screen. It actually lowers the blast. Zone. It, it does. It does. It does. And on that spike there, maybe it wouldn't have killed because he saw it. it probably because of the camera angle too. Yeah. You know, the camera will follow a specific player. 
up exactly. Sarge immediately switching to jumping. Like, oh, this is my option. And he took yeah. that option and he sent him to the blast hole. We thought uh, G Extreme was going to bring it back, take that game. Sarge still came through. He really pulled up. G Extreme, you know, not doing nothing on the block. True. He's, like, oh, I'm, he's like, I'm not even doing I'm I not waiting. I appreciate you watching the stream too. But here we go. This is game four. Yeah, and he, he manages to get something going. At, at this point, I'm just trying to see, like, what Solarx is going to do to kind of keep this pressure. He doesn't have as strong in the lead in the beginning of the course as he did the last game. And he's even down, like, 70%. No double jump. Has jump art. And almost gets reversed as he almost did the, I mean, as he did the last yes, game. He is. And he is. Are you starting to turn this around? But Jigshin with a very aggressive quick attack. You know, before he was playing so patient, and now the aggressive. <gasps> the the foot stool. Stool, yep. that, that's, a, that's a guarantee. That is, what, is, yep. what are they called? Uh, 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 that's an option select. Yes. You know what I mean? I've done that a couple times. I've done it a couple times too. Yeah. You know, you just go down and go for the foot stool. And but again, Jigshin with the aggression. Yeah, it really works when you condition someone to, get to, to recover low, and that's exactly what Solaris has been able to do. Like, oh, he's not coming off stage, and even if he does, he's not gonna be down there. Might just be at the ledge, you know, right for that dare. But either way, that's a huge lead for G-Extreme, and he only needs one game. He's, he's one game, he's actually one game away from moving on. Yeah. But right now, Solaris trying to get the stock. Yeah, at this point, you know, G-Extreme currently already out in the number one seed of this tournament. Maybe Dude, can, that's crazy you know, too. Potentially replace it. I mean, that's the kind of place this is. But he's got to get past Soul Arts and a wall he is looking like, especially with these aerials. They come through with a lot of damage, a lot of percent. Ooh, trying to get the dash tag in with the smash. Or, no, man, this is getting crazy. Ooh. 106. That, that's to be expected. That down is definitely going to kill. It's sending that way too. Yeah, and, and you know, a little bit of a lead. Here and he's gonna get some percentage. Not gonna get his down smash, but still get something later. Yeah, all right, not far off. Solar can definitely bring us back. That's what the arts are for. For sure. I mean, at this point, the discipline that's coming through, he's getting his little up and he gets some percentage. He gets what he needs, right? All right, G going back to what he, how he was playing the first two games, keeping down the aggression a little low this time. Yeah, he's trying to force specific scenarios from Solar's. Solar trying to use the platforms to kind of ignore it. And I think that's why he stayed PS2. Yeah, you know, maybe it's, you know, wanting to just keep it the same. But, but there oh, it is. Man. One opening is all it took. One there is all it took for him to get that damage. Yeah, it's, you know, this is not, I'm not confused on G-Extreme. I'm Solars, I'm also, oh, he got left that time. Right. Switching to Buster, man. One touch, you take some damage. Like that, already at 75. Yeah, it is. You know, this is where Pikachu can sometimes struggle to kill, right? Yep, this is not a character right. you'll be able to get close to. And especially with Shield Art. You're absolutely right. You know, he, he was waiting for those t jolts too, just so he could back here. I just saw it. Yeah, the parry into the t jolt was pretty good there. Now we have, a, we have a some really even game. Like, yeah. both players fighting for this life, for the stock. Yeah, didn't angle the shield, managed to get shield put back in the fair, and now... Ooh, we're getting called out for that edge guard. This is the first time I've seen, you know, try to go for like a little back off stage too. And yeah, Solar's just capitalized on it heavily. This is looking rough. It and is. Are expecting to shoot Solar's capitalizing even more. And he's he's more or less poison taken. 168, it's not like you're dying in the next hit. As you mentioned, Pikachu. Pikachu struggling to kill 158. Yep. It's like, it's, what do you do? And there's the pivot, already at 60, getting caught again. Solar's still gonna finish this. Ooh, nice patience right there, getting the second air slam. Again, the T-Jo almost extending. See, even if you land on that platform, oh, that's not gonna kill. 173. Again, like you said, P2 struggles to kill. It's like, what do you do? If one mistake, could all, all, all it takes is one mistake. Yeah, and, and look G at that. Could die. That grab, because of shield art, gets you another lease on life. You can't afford to take too many hits with your G-Extreme. This yeah. up throw will kill, but 82%. Has damage, already, you know, has damage already been done? Ooh, almost, almost getting that kill. And going for something a little belligerent, you have the opportunity to. Yep, and he didn't even get punished for it, by the way, either. Yeah, gosh. Man, this is scary. If Solis is playing the way he is, like, he brought this back, too, by the way. Yeah, this like, is... It was a heavy no. climb, and G it looked like G-Extreme was just going to clean it up. But right now, Solar's doing an excellent job. Ooh, that would have been an opportunity for a good grab, too, right there. At least probably some damage. He is positioning himself to potentially get a reverse 3 0 Based on the way that he's been camping on the platforms. However, G Extreme finally getting something out of it. Yep. Trying to shut down that shield. Man, this is so close. This is the last situation, too. 
Sarge has to figure it out, take the stock, force a game five. Oh, and Speed's coming through, you Ooh, know, like you said, the going quick forward. Attack. Yep, the quick attack. Oh. And he gets the Malk, but not going to get the situation afterward. He's not confident yeah. enough, but that's that, the setup he's looking for. That was for. so smart by Sarge, using the up air to fade back a bit to land behind the extreme. Getting the up tilt, and now we have a game five situation. Yeah, this is looking like a reverse 3 0, especially when he got reversed on the second stock with that up. Did, did. And, you know, you know sometimes thought, you got you need the patience to kind of finish it out, other times you need to close. It is hard to decipher for those lines. Like I said, we thought G Stream was just going to clean it up there because he was doing so well, and I thought we were going to see a counter pick. But like I said, I think Solarts has figured it out. You know, he found his footing in these matches. I really wouldn't have brought it back to PS2, but hey. Sometimes it works. He's in a game five situation well, now. For G Extreme, it hasn't worked the last two. Yeah. And but he's it, the it one picking it. You know? when he like took him back here too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know. Again, I, I see what you're saying. You know, sometimes some, someone games, would you know swap stages, get change the momentum a bit. Either way, they're both looking comfy here as they go for that generic game plan. Of course, I'm going to play defensive Tijo. I'm going to look for center and, and instead. But the first one, the overswing, is Soul Arts. But not going to take much. Of course, that shield art going to help with that. Yep, and there's a dash attack. I'm thinking about that Tijo, too. And shield art pulling through. And you know he's going to go crazy on that shield with these aerials. Yes, he is. Ooh, oh, he's falling right out of that. That was, that was that pretty was weird. That was pretty, yeah, yeah, that was that pretty was weird. But, but we'll take it. You know, falling out, saving himself there for some big damage. Again, another situation with the shield. Ooh. Even trying to call it out with the thunder, but, but even he's still wearing a yeah, he, He's still on shield on anyways. Yeah, panic situation, definitely one of those peak privilege. Again, yeah, but I love how we're seeing, like, he can start off with the aggression, and then he slowed it down during the second, like, the last match, which I kind of think played in his downfall a bit. Yeah, like, we saw how he took that first stock last game. It's really, you know, dependent on how you really try to play in these scenarios. It's so many... So many options that these players have. Right, and right now it's an even game again. Yeah. It's so hard. This first stock, of course, is going to be imperative. Yep, it's always it's always been this way for most of the matches, and too. You, I don't know, you, you never want to get reverse 3-0, three, uh, three right? Yeah. Like, that's always a bad feeling. It's creeping in the back of your head. Yeah, like, like yeah, it happens in the match, but in the set, that's what you never want. And Especially you, when you have the momentum, you're up, and there it is the dragon on with the upsets. Switching to the shield a little too late there. Yeah, I mean, oh, Ooh, getting, getting, finally getting. with the call, the backslide, and getting. the taunt, and the double taunt, they both taunted each other. He's like, all right, I respect it. And I just want to say, when he tried, the, when he backslide, he tried the quick attack. That's what caught him. Yeah. It is, it is crazy. You got, you got some good eyes, man, I'm just saying. You, you, know, you know, as a commentator, you got to have good eyes. You got to see what you see. And right now I see that shield are coming in. Ooh, catching the air down into the and back here. It's two of them. Two this aerials and one cent aerial. It's looking pretty scary for G, of course. Holding on the shield, looking at center stage, trying to get maybe trying, something. Yeah, trying to stall out the speed. Out of all the damage out of this entire set, speed's been the one to get the job done. Helping literally no Solars get in. Yeah, no shield art for Solars to kind of bust, her, bust out of that combo situation. But not much is happening either way. G Extreme gets a quick attack, but man, it Ooh. is looking rough. That oh. was deadly. Barely missing the attack. That was risky, by the way, too. Barely missing that dash attack. If Sarge would have capitalized, that could have been super deadly. Yeah, I mean, missing that punish is kind of big too, right? Because those yeah. opportunities aren't going to come build, too build often. Build opportunities and momentum too. Who knows what would have happened? What that scenario would have been like? And baits out the option. Ooh, gets finally. an S smash too, but that's the first S smash I've seen hit too. Yeah, he's been struggling to get them. Buster coming through at this point, and maybe a reason why he actually didn't get hit by the follow up. Ooh, but there it is, finally. Yep. I love how he baited. Like he landed immediately, was able to hold shield. New G Extreme was gonna swing, and was able to get the kill off that up. A missed opportunity as well as that shield was hit. But of course, in shield art, this is looking really rough for G Extreme. So I'm playing this beautifully, yep. just using the buster, putting on those slightly the slower. Jumping over the extending yep. it, and there's the getting caught by the quick attack. 62. For one down smash, and it was only the first hit, and he's already at 60. And it looks like the first trump the entire set, by the way. Yes, that was the first trump he went through, but either way, he was still in shield. Maybe the car is being pulled out a bit too late, as Solarts has really positioned himself to win this game three yeah, and game the way, five. Wade's looking, ooh, avoiding that. Yeah, like the way it's looking, Swords is just playing so well. Like we saw the first two games, G Stream was just doing fantastic. In the call out? What? What a, what a call out. What a call out. What? In the two stock. Like, 
or Fallout. Fallout did SD one of those games, but it didn't matter.